Yes, lads, what's going on? This is Yorkie here, and welcome back to another episode of the Tottenham Hotspur career mode. And today, the sole focus is the Champions League. We have two games left, and those two games are going to be against Rangers and Juventus. Juventus are currently top of the group, and they beat us last time out. But Rangers sit rock bottom, so they're definitely a side we could be. In my head, I reckon a point from the Juve game and a win in the Rangers game might just be enough to get us through. But in reality, we might have to win them both. We're also heading into the busiest month of the season, which is December. Both those Champions League games are going to have to be played around the games like Chelsea, Manchester United and Liverpool. So that makes this extremely difficult for us. Just let's not forget we're still fighting top four in the table and potentially even going for a little bit of a title push this season. We've had a very good start only losing one game in 11. And we've managed to do all of that while missing Son for the past two months. He's going to be back very soon, four weeks to go and we're actually not that far from the January window. And we have a pretty big amount of cash to spend if we need to spend it to improve this squad. You guys in the comments seem to think that we should be splashing some of that cash on moving Musiala. And to be fair, he does look like an absolute beast. Another beast that you guys think we should be casting our eye to is Santiago Jimenez. This guy's getting a lot of traction in real life, and I would love to use him on this year's game. And with us mainly using Richarlison on the left-hand side due to Son's injury, and me getting absolutely nothing out of Velez so far this season, maybe that's the move we go for. But all those transfer stresses are going to be for the next episode. In this one, we really need to focus on the game. But before we get into those games, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button as well if you're enjoying the series enjoying the videos i'm starting to wrap my brain now for what the next series is going to be i think we'll start posting some community posts soon and we can kind of work it out together but i'm definitely thinking something that's going to be a much bigger struggle to build in terms of squad now west ham only have eight points this season which is a terrible start for west ham so forgive me for believing that this should be a good way to kick off the episode but you never know with these highlights anything could happen and a long cross Straight off the bat. I don't really like those long crosses anymore. They seem really bad at the minute. That did not go to me at all. We're getting another one of these long crosses. And I, I don't understand them. They're just really bad. This one is up to Velez though. So maybe I can knock it down. And I do, but it's just terrible header instantly counts as you're losing the ball too so it's it's kind of a bit pointless you can't really build on it i don't feel like we've managed to create anything yet we're gonna have a solo run now with velez and i'm not gonna take it as a solo run i'm gonna sweat that over to sancho sancho should be cleaning for a goal yes he is sancho makes it one nil and west ham's woes continue both sets of highlight oh we're gonna have a penalty this feels a little bit like redemption after the richarlison one last time out i'm gonna Hit this one with Madison. And this time I'm going to time it perfectly because Madison is very good at penalties. It's just, can we beat the keeper? Yes, we can. Top bins, Madison. 2-0. That should be this one done and dusted. I said done and dusted, but West Ham are going to have a crossing opportunity. War prowse, near post. I should have never slid in, but also we should never be getting beaten near post like that. It's gone to a counter-attack from the kit these highlights are a little bit bugged sometimes but we're gonna take that well we got ahead and win in the end it might be a consolation for west ham but it does not matter they lose again in the league and we just keep on picking up these good results that's all we need to do keep on fighting in this top four battle but they do want us to win the premiership this season the ball i mean that's a lofty goal i think it's a ridiculous goal but as long as we keep winning they'll be happy it was newcastle next then with them only having 11 points i thought we quick sim this one it's gonna finish 2-2 i'm not too unhappy with this result as and richarlison getting the goals because we had to rotate as we play Juve next. A trip to the Allianz Arena then this time out to take on Juve. Last time, we let a one-goal lead slip. We cannot afford to do that again. This one has to be at least a point. But I'm going to be honest with you. I would love a victory. It would make us going into that Rangers game just feel a lot more comfortable. Now, we managed to ask enough questions last time out when we played Juve. And we got Dusan, who can score goals. And I still haven't figured out what the celebration is. For us not to celebrate. So that's, I mean, that's that's a bit of a problem. But I do feel like this time out, we should be a little bit more dominant. Dusan, ball in there to Sancho. Sancho pulls it back. Look at that from Sancho. Oh, it should be 1-0. I feel like Sancho's really starting to settle into this team. I'm starting to really get the best out of him. Romero with the header. Oh, it's off the crossbar. We want to punish them early. It's nearly perfect. I'm going to try and loft it in again. Dusan. Oh, what a save from Chesney. The man is unbelievable in that right from that now sane is causing me problems to say the least i can't block it and he's good save in the end from vicario a little bit of a warning sign back there then from juve should we already be one nil up though that's the question i'm going to ask myself if they go and score now i can't really tell dusan's making a run dusan oh i can't win it holmond good position holmond oh good save chesney holmond didn't really catch that correctly did he but that's a bit more like it let's whip one in now aiming for dusan finding chesney oh they come though we had our big attack. 
Leroy Sane. What a block. What a save. I don't know if Gay he blocked it. Oh, Vicario saved it, but I'll take it. Leroy Sane on the break, causing all the issues. Milik now has limped off with an injury for them. Half time, still nil-nil. I think we've done enough to score a goal, but they are piling the pressure on once they break. I get that into Dusan on the turn. Dusan, good block. I mean, there are no gaps here. There are no gaps at all, although... There may be a gap now for Sancho to just loft one in. There isn't. Umpa Meccano is there. They're so hard to break down right now. I feel like I made a mistake last time going for it. But who, who knows what we should be doing here? I'm not too sure. I'm going to bring off Basuma though. I do know one thing. When I've got tired players on the pitch, that's not going to help me because we're having to press heavily. Because we're pressing so much when our players get tired, that will be when we slip up. We've made a massive mistake. Moise Keane, don't let him play it across. Anything you do, just don't let him play it across. Jao Felix, we... Gave them that from a throw-in. I have to be honest, we should be a little bit embarrassed here with Destiny Idoji. He throws the ball weakly to Romero when he's already been trapped. Romero tries to head it away, hits Moise Keane. That's how the entire break was started. And out of nowhere, we definitely need a goal. And guess who I'm going to bring on? Late super sub, Richarlison. I have to score here, or we could be out of the Champions League, and then it'll be Europa League. And who knows? We might even get sacked if we're out. Eze into Dusan. Dusan holds it up. Tries to turn. Dusan, oh, it's blocked again. Every single time I can't get any movement in the box from him. There is literally nowhere to go in that box from Juve. Literally nowhere. The final whistle blows and Juve just had our number. And that might be topping them out of the Champions League. And I cannot believe it came from that throw-in. What stupidity from Destiny, you doji. So annoying. Benfica go on to win. So unless Benfica lose to Juve heavily and we beat Rangers heavily... We're out of the Champions League. This is insane. But before we can think about that, let's turn our attention back to the league and this game at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. Let's get a win to get ourselves back on track. There isn't really a better way to bounce back than picking up a victory against your rivals. So, I mean, if we could do that today, that would be ideal. Solomon is on the pitch for this one, but I should mention that Son is back in training. Ullmund intercepts that again. And that is insane. Pedro Porro terrible pass to madison some of the free balls now and some of the i don't know there's something happened with the passing i think in the patch i genuinely do think something might have happened with the passing that's gonna be good though solomon oh my god there was no foul there solomon bags the goal what a pass in but i, I thought there was gonna be a foul i guess the foul was probably on madison if anything we whip the ball back in solomon great header okay we've got the lead man our solomon unlikely goal scorer but regardless we're gonna take it back him ziech is back playing for Chelsea. Don't think that will happen in real life. And Pedro Porro apparently gives away a free kick. Never saw that as a free kick. Hakan is a beast on free kicks. But surely he's going to whip this one in. And he does. And Jonathan Tarr should be winning those. And we do. We get it away. He's going to be a handball. It goes in our favour. We're lucky. Because weirdly, Chelsea this season are actually... Well, they're in the title race. Oh my god. Brennan Johnson wins that back. And then plays it in. Dusan. Good touch from him. Into Mano. Solomon Diassi gets the tackle in. Imagine Solomon gets a brace here. Solomon going to get to that? He does. Solomon gets to it, controls it, but he does have a lot of incoming traffic. And then play it to do... What is going on with the passing? I am clearly playing that to do, San. Like, legit, I don't understand. I only tapped X as well. And look, in this position, I'm not even playing it there. Now, there is something going on with my X button at the minute. It is sticking in. I don't know why I've spilt... This is brand new. I've spilt absolutely nothing on it. But the X button is sticking a little bit. Maybe it could be that why I'm overhitting passes. Because I'm overhitting them all the time. And I'm just tapping it. But then maybe... It's giving it way more power. All right, so now we've got the bar above the head. So I can kind of see how much power has been added. But I have noticed, I noticed it the other day while playing Ultimate Team, that X button has been sticking, so has the circle button. And I have no idea why. But maybe, now that we've done this, it'll help me kind of realize if it's more that the button's sticking in, it's not actually the passing. And maybe I should apologize for saying it's the passing, because it might not be. This is a good ball out to Matter K. Couldn't get the block in. What has just happened? on this game this could be the craziest goal i i've ever conceded madawake puts it over and <laughs> what are we doing just why what are we doing in this situation i mean that is insane that is insane i've never ever conceded a goal like that before eze's come on because uh mads is absolutely knackered from champions league football Madawake, good. He's very good. Get out to Dusan. Dusan's touch. It's a hard angle. Oh, it's the outside of the post. That was lovely. Such a hard angle to work from, though. That was always going to be difficult. Angelina loses out. Nicholas Jackson. Oh, he's ball rolled, mate. 
He's ball rolled me. Ziach. Jonathan Tar up against Ziach. They pull it back. Just do anything to stop them scoring here. Jackson, what save, Vicario? Massive save from Vicario, but we're going for it. We're doing it. I do not want to be bringing off Dusan. Don't have a choice. Knackered, but Hyunming Son is on the pitch. I'm going to win the ball back by giving them the ball, though. That is a mistake. Mudrek. The whip ball in. Oh, my God, Diassi. What? What? Just, oh, my. Hold it, Vicario. Just hold it, man. Some of the dumbness of this game. <laughs> He's infuriating. Why does Vicario just not hold that there? And we, how have we not won that? Oh, buddy, Shirley like scuffs it though. God, I've made the subs to try and win this game. And they're just punishing us. We messed it up. We messed up our chance. We overplayed it. We've done that a bit too much this season. It's going to be a 1-1 draw. Probably should have been more for us, but they battered me at the end of the game. We are struggling at the minute with this fixture congestion. Game's just coming at us thick and fast, and the team is not dealing with it well. Aston Villa next, and here we've got a mini rivalry again. And there's going to be no Dusan Blahovic for this one. Although there is some nice news. Young Min Son back in the starting 11. Sancho, wait in. Oh, he nearly got it into Velez. He is going to get it into him in the end. And then Son straight back into the starting 11. And Naily straight back into the goal. Very quick start for Tottenham then. I'm going to go deep with this one. Probably shouldn't have gone as deep as I did there. That wasn't the intention. See what he can do. Alex Moreno with an unbelievable tackle. And just as you're getting Son back, you don't want Madison going down with an injury. There's bad blood between these two teams as well. Oh, they've got a good ball in behind. Ramsey, I've still not sorted out the Madison situation. David, what a save, Vicario. Sancho wins that header. Get into Son. Son. Back to skip. I'm just struggling. They're boxing me out instantly. They play a really good gag and press Villa. And with the ball finally going out, we can see that Madison is injured. He's going to mean some massive minutes for Eze. I just hope that Eze can come in. He can do a good job. That's why we signed him. Naziri now. Always wanting that overlap. And I've fallen for it. And Naziri on the inside. That's good, Jonathan. There's just two bodies everywhere. I hate playing against Villa because I'm trying to block off Ramsey and then they use Ramsey to distract the Jonathan David run. It's very clever, but very annoying. And as per usual, we struggle against Aston Villa and we kind of have in a, a mid-season slump, but the big one is the Champions League game. I'm telling you that for free, lads. I can't play out here against Aston Villa. They are destroying me. I might switch up our play style for the rest of this match and just see if that's going to do anything because right now they're pressing the life out of me and it is killing us. If they make it 2-0 here, but I'm just undecided if they're going for this or not. But if they do make it 2-0 here, this is dangerous. And Jonathan David, oh, be on the pole. Yeah, we're going to go standard for the rest of the game. Uh, and let's just see what we can get out of the team with standard. Give ourselves a little bit more balance. Oh, we have to take him out. We have to slow him down somehow. I This man is absolutely rapid. I think it's the app. What are we doing, Jonathan Tarr? Oh my God, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Off the line. Oh, we are so lucky. We are a calamity at the back right now. We are shocking. Aston Villa are probably feeling a little bit hard done by. They should have scored more. Ramsey. I don't know why, but Aston Villa always feel quicker than us. I don't know why. Jonathan Tarr there, though. That is pinpoint and, and pretty perfect. Velez's ball. Not so perfect. And we have not played out, really. When we've won the ball back, the constant pressure here, as you can see from Aston Villa, we not really managed to play out of that at any point. We always find ourselves in, like, this kind of position. Although now, Basum has played one perfectly into Velez. Big moment for Velez. Oh, my God. He finds the back of the net. Perfect start to the second half and a perfect start for that man. Finally, playing through Aston Villa a little bit leads to a goal. I actually think we might tweak our play style a little bit more from now on, depending who we're playing again. Oh, no. And Lazeri, Jonathan Tart again, big time that. I want the man to come to me. And Son now is going to pick this up. Yuming Son, try and catch him. Can he pull it back? He can. Oh, it's just Maserauri was covering perfectly. Sonny's a little bit rusty. I'm working on his sharpness in the training. Oh, we need a few subs. I, I don't really know what to make because I are we going for this? I feel like maybe Richarlison off for Son. Son's made some really good runs, but not really had an impact in the box. I need to just ease him back into the team and then we should be fine. But I'm glad I changed the balance. Since we've gone balanced, I feel like things are going a little bit better. Let's oh, get that back in, Destiny. Into Richarlison. Richarlison trying to find Eze. That was hard. Konza. Oh, we had a man coming in in Sancho. Eze now has stayed down with an injury. Can't get any worse, can it? You don't want an injury pile up at this stage of the season. Sancho. Look back inside to Basuma. Basuma actually played that into Velez. Velez takes it quite well, but Pau Torres was there. It was a heavy touch, really, in reality. But I can't blame Velez too much there. We are two minutes added on. I need something big. Sancho. Keep going, Sancho. 
Back in again towards Papsar, but I just can't beat Pau Torres in the air right now. Papsar will get that one, though, and it's well blocked. It's going to be a share of the spoils. I'm really not going to complain too much, though. We all know how good Aston Villa are in this game when you play against them. I think what I'm going to start doing now, though, tactically, is tweak the team depending who we're playing. I think when we went standard against Villa, we just looked miles better. The big thing after those two games, though, is the injury. We're going to have four weeks for a Brecci Eze. Not ideal. And Mads is out for three months. Another three-month injury to one of our star players. We can't seem to have all three of them on the pitch at once. And that's both cams. That's the big issue. Both of my cams out for at least a month. Does Velas have any ability to play cam? No, he can't pass the ball to save his life. Now, he could make the move to playing Son more centrally. This is definitely a good move for him i feel we take 26 weeks but we probably wouldn't even fulfill this we'll just use him as a cam until we get the players back we need does this mean now though that we go out and do something in january because madison being out for that long is a real issue three months is a long time and these are a very big three months coming up now we do have a cam in the academy that we could use lucas cummins could be handy no he can't really pass and he needs to improve his shooting but five star five star and he has the potential to be an absolute beast in the future i think we're going to promote him and this will be the first real big name player that we promoted and he has the potential to be special i genuinely think if we give him game time he'll be a b but there's no rest there for us it's manchester united now they have a pretty decent squad they haven't changed much to it but i don't feel like they needed to and they have improved and they have spence on loan who will be starting for them today at right back and i want to take this game at old trafford as seriously as possible but i've had to make wholesale changes because we have a lot of players tired we have players injured and the rangers game next is the most important game of this episode and i'm pretty sure last time i played manchester united they were very good i'm expecting them to be very good again in this one we're going to start off with the gagan press will we stay with it i don't know but we're at least going to start with it i'm not sure what they play i should have checked it before the start of the game that is my mistake i got giddy to play this one Brennan johnson now he's gonna have space got space is that do son that is do son making somewhat of a run but he kind of give up on it benton curve from distance oh my god that was bad i really wanted this to be a sweet strike but there was nothing sweet about it oh molassi has found himself some space yeah he can go to him and he has power but rasmus hoyland there oh that's great from emerson Rashford to hoyland he took a heavy touch gay he capitalized on that did i time that right oh my god i did do son Pulls it back. No, it was poor touch. The Sandra Martinez read me like a book. Free kick. Manchester United in what has been a very dull game. And do some won that ball back there. This has been a terrible game of football for neutral. Do I care? Absolutely not. Keep going. Keep going. Pull back into Brennan Johnson. Brennan wants it back again. I just didn't really have anyone. And if Holman makes that pass, that's unreal. Here comes Spence. He's got so much pace. I'm actually thinking about recalling him, considering some of the performances we've had. But now, Spence is completely out of position. A ball up to Dusan is viable. Keep going, Sa. Keep going, Sa. Sa! Oh, Nana saves it. That's not like him. Emerson. Pump that one into Johnson. That was lovely to Johnson, but it didn't work out. Although, Holman there. Back across now. To Benton Kerr. He missed his chance. Oh, Dusan. Make the run. Dusan! Oh, beautiful. A 1 0 Tottenham right at the start of the second half. I think that might actually be Dusan's first goal of the episode. I've been useless this one. I'm not even going to pretend I haven't, but that's a good goal. Nice bit of play. Tidy. Still playing the Gagan press, and it's worked. 1 0 has been my arch nemesis this season, though, so let's push on and try and score another. I would like to get Dusan off the pitch, though, because I wouldn't mind him starting against Rangers. Destinate into Dusan. Back across to Solomon. Massive moment across to Saar. I mean, maybe the wrong choice there from Solomon. You score that. It's 2-0. The game might be over. But now I'm sure in Manchester United's eyes, it's game on. And I think they're shown as much by bringing on the experience of Gerard Moreno. We know that guy can bag goals. Well, they're not the only one making subs. We're going to make subs of our own. Richarlison, Buchanan, and Lucas Cummins coming on for his first appearance for Tottenham. Carson then. Back out wide. Back in again from Buchanan to Benton Kerr. Benton Kerr scored from here before, and he does it again. I needed that. 2-0 at Old Trafford, and that should be a massive win in this episode. Good opportunity for a good pass. Oh, if that lands well. Richarlison, he loves that position. We've got Buchanan. Buchanan! Oh, great save, Anna. Oh, these subs have spiced things up. They have lightened this game up quite a bit. That's a good ball in Richarlison! Straight into the arms of Anana. What a massive win then at Old Trafford. We needed that to bounce back. Let's put all our focus now 
into this Rangers game. And this is how things stand. We need Benfica to lose against Juve. And then we need to run a riot against Rangers. That's literally all we can do. But the odds are so stacked against us. It looks like we will be playing Europa League football. I don't think the board are going to take that very well. And I don't think you guys are going to take that very well. But this is all part of the struggle of our first season back in the Champions League. And we were taking this as seriously as can be. This will be our starting 11. I have opted to give Cummins his first start for Tottenham in this big Champions League game at home. This has not been the entry back into the Champions League that I expected. You expected, Spurs expected. But I know we can do something special out there today. You know what I also know? If I did have the help there from the players I needed, that would definitely be a goal for Son or an assist. At least I feel like Dusan did not sell me anything there. Angelino up against Tavernier today. Could be impactful as they go clean through. What a save. Hedrick hasn't actually played that much. But I know he's going to be needed today. Knock that down. Dusan. Oh my god, Cummins. What a moment for Cummins. And he scores his first goal for Tottenham. Which might just be the most important goal of this season. Lucas Cummins introducing himself to the Tottenham fans the right way. What a knockdown by Dusan and a lovely finish. I can't believe it. The storyline of that. We've been building this academy all last season. We've been doing bits with it. We've been trying to build all these young players. And finally one breaks into the starting eleven. I thought it'd be small, the striker, in the long run. But... Lucas Cummins, what a man. Rivan does brilliantly there. Jonathan Tarr couldn't get to him, but Romero gets there for that. Lundstrom with a shot. I really want a second in this one so I can bring off Dusan. He's going to be knackered. He's played so many games already this season. Sancho to just lift that one over to Pedro. Didn't work out, although handball here. Is this a good position for a crossed ball? I don't know. We're about to find out. I loft it in. Doesn't work out. Didn't even beat the first man. To Basuma. Basuma into Pedro Porro. Doesn't score many. Doesn't score there. And I've just remembered I didn't have the face. Come on. I apologize. But that should have been 2 0. I'll take 1 0 at half time, but I definitely feel like we should have scored a few more. What a moment for that man, though. Lucas Cummins with his first ever Tottenham Hotspur goal. Pedro Porro finds Dusan Vlahove. Dusan pulled it back. Is that a good ball into Cummins? Is a good ball. Look at that touch from Cummins. Great defending. He's knackered. He doesn't really have the stamina to be playing a Gagan press, to be fair to him. To Sancho. Sancho, back across to Dusan. Oh my god, that would have been a screamer. Well, they brought on Kalajic, and he scored last time we played against him. I'm going to bring on Richarlison. Bring on Buchanan as well, although Sancho's played well. I kind of need to rest a few players here. And Holman, just in the center of the park to shore stuff up. I'm keeping Cummins on, and I'm keeping Son on. Is this another ball over to Cummins? Oh, Suter is 92 feet tall. He's so tall, is Suter. I think he's one of the tallest players in the game. And now we've given it away. We've given them an opportunity to counter. Have an ear now. A wide has been an issue for me today. Jonathan Tarr should be winning that. Oh my god, Kalajic is a problem. Late corner and it's just kind of like, hold on. I'm so nervous. Win that Buchanan. He does. And I'm just going to play it down the line. I don't care who it gets to. Oh my god, it got to Son. And then Son, what was that? That was a terrible pass. I thought we were breaking clean away there. I need my midfielders to get back on this one. Kalajic up against Jonathan Tart. Right, just run, lads. Just run. Let's get it out wide. I mean, I do have Richarlison. I would be stupid not to do this for Richarlison. Pop it in. Boom. There we go. 2-0. We win. We've done our job. And who knows how much we needed that extra goal. So I had to put it in the back of the net when I saw Richarlison wide open. But that is game over. Is it celebrations from the lads? I mean, we are cheering... A little bit. So, who knows? Let's find out if we're through. We've definitely got Europa League. But I'm praying we stay in the Champions League and we have knockout. And we don't. Benfica beat Juve. Oh, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that Benfica beat Juve. And we struggled so much in this group. I mean, it was tough. It was a really tough group. Because all of the teams were good enough to beat each other. And that's become quite evident. Apart from Rangers 
We're going to finish third. We're going to be in the Europa League. I'm going to be aiming to win that competition. We are more than good enough for the Europa League, but it does mean now we can focus a lot more on the league where we are currently second and only five points off of Arsenal. Can we stop Arsenal from winning the Premier League? I think that should be a heavy focus now for us this season. And weirdly, they don't hate me, the board. They've just said go and win the Europa League, which is exactly what I'm going to do. That gives us a little bit more turmoil in the save. And I quite like that. I think it adds something to it. We're bringing in these young players. We haven't just gone out and spent an absolute fortune on the best players in the world. I quite like it. This adds a bit of spice to it for me and makes it a bit more fun. Next time out, though, we will enter January. We've got Liverpool and Everton first, but then we'll enter January. And I do think there's a few signings we should make. We also know who we're playing in the Europa League, and it's going to be two legs against Fiorentina. Personally, I think we should be able to beat anybody in the Europa League, and we should go on and win that competition. But I'd really like to see if we could push for the Premier League now, so maybe we sign some players in order to do that, because the injuries are hurting us. But that's going to be it for this one, lads. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you guys are as well, and I will see you for the next one.